Okay, so now I look at the part, and if I look at this, this scan, I can see that there is here a chamfer. So you can make a sketch and get ex the exact dimension of this chamfer. Otherwise, I can display it here. I can display the, the solid body and put the solid body in transparency here. So solid body only, not the mesh. And then from here, I, re I will right mouse click and make a chamfer. So chamfer here, you can estimate, but when it's too small, the software gets a little bit of a problem with it to, to, to extract it. It's better when it's a region. Right now, there is no region. So I will make 45 degrees right now and put 0.7. So you can see it's coming closer and 0.6 should be better. Okay. And the angle a little bit more. So a little bit less, 40 degrees. Yeah, and so I have to adjust again 0.65. Okay, and I can get here my chamfer. Now, if I look on other area, of course, I can double click on this chamfer and say, okay, I forgot I need to do the same here, and it applies the chamfer on the other on the other area. On the other side here, you can see you have two circles. So you need to have a nice shape here. So I can display that. I can remove, of course, my transparency and right mouse click on that edge and make a fillet. Fillet, I will not select the fillet on the edge. I will select the face. So that will select all the boundaries, but I don't want to have those. So I will, I will select the edges. So that edge and that edge. And of course, I can do exactly the same on the other side. Okay, so now you can increase, if I want to, the fillet to have something more continuous there. And okay, to build my fillet. Then you have different kind of fillet you can create on the part. You have the fillet, the variable fillet, the the, the face fillet. Face fillet is a nice fillet. Uh, because you have a lot of control if you want to go from that face to that face with 30 millimeters it's a little bit too much but two millimeters or, or five millimeters so it's exactly the same as constant fillet but if you have something a little bit more touchy you can create conical fillets with a fillet of five millimeters on one side and 2.5 on the other side with the row that you can control i can put a row of point 75 to flatten a little bit uh, to to sharpen a little bit the fillet or if i want to flatten the fillet point to five and it's a little bit flatter and can hold lines and things like that and the full face fillet is to tell the software that i want to go from that face oops from that face here the center is that one, and the right side is that one, and it will destroy completely the middle face and create a full face fillet, a tritangent fillet.